Hey old guys, Pete here again. So today I've got a little bit of a video for you. Now, I've recently, obviously a while back, bought a friend of broken this version off eBay. Just as a simple little fun idea. He was cheap, let's put it that way. But I've been running him in a few games and stuff. Now, anyone who doesn't know his profile is... He's... Sorry. He is 10 points. He's a Wanderers in the Wild profile. He's good slash evil, which I will get to in a minute, which is pretty cool. Uh, he has no fate, uh, sorry, no might, no will, no fate, etc. Obviously, a lot of people probably know that. Uh, but the one cool thing is his shard spirit rule. Basically, when you're rolling to see who controls him, good or evil, if you get a double, double, three, four, five, six, and then his fight goes up, his courage goes up, his attacks go up by two, which is pretty insane. But I've been playing him recently where uh, if he rolls a double one or a double two and therefore taken over by the evil side or opposite side, then he gets the same roll, which is just insane. And this came into play yesterday, which I feel like this should be the rule should work both ways. That if he rolls double anything, whether he's passing for the good side or evil side, etc., he should still get the fight six. Three attacks and courage six, because this happened twice in a game yesterday. Now, obviously, I can't don't know if Frain should be added into like a Moria force, but either way, he was in there. So, little ten point drop was playing just some really small two hundred point games, extremely fun and extremely fast. Uh, yeah, he was added into my Moria list. Now, I kept well, he kept getting pushed away further back, further back, etc. And then he ended up rolling, like, sort of double one, double two, or that, doubling up his strength, so his attacks and all that went up. What was he nearby? Six goblin archers hiding behind a wall. First turn, sorry, not six, uh, five of them actually, because it wasn't enough to squeeze behind the wall themselves. Yeah, he was near five of them, so first turn, obviously killed out, outright killed two of them. Next turn, he sort of got higher pass, if I remember right, so got moved away. The next turn, he yet again rolled really low, got a double, I think he got snake eyes or something like that. So therefore bumping up his attacks and honestly just murdering the five archers within two to three turns. It was unreal. Because he was only needing fours to wound them and kill them. But then being defense four and strength six. It was just insane that a small <laughs> ten point hero with the most broken rule in the world... Well, not most broken, obviously, there is more broken rules. But he's a 10 point hero with such a broken small rule that would be insane on a massive hero with more attacks already and tr doubling up like that, atta their attacks or that. But he just outright killed so many goblins in no turn, in two to three turns. It was insane. And like I say, I would love it if this rule for him worked both ways. It would be insane, because you can just imagine a good player controlling him with Frain on the evil side, like on Azog's, uh, sorry, Dark Pit of Dogodur, if he's part of that. And the good player going, oh, well, he's going to, I'm going to move him near my hero, what's he going to do? The next turn he rolls like Snake Eyes and absolutely murders a captain or something like that. It would just be insane just to think that a little 10 point hero like him has murdered, let's say, a... 90 point high elf captain like fully kitted out and all that stuff and just managed to basically straight out murder him or at least take his fate off or his few might points off of him obviously like I said the number downside is he has no might, no will etc I believe he's resistant to magic or am I just I can't remember but I do I don't know if this will make him extremely broken or they would need to bump up the points cost but if he had some sort of rule like blood and glory I know he can't exactly get might points back, but if he has something like that where if he's under the opposing side and he gets a kill, he can gain a might point if, let's see, he wounds or kill, outright kills a hero or something like that. would be pretty insane. And it would make people want to straight out just obviously attack him. But we'll get to that as well. When 
I have been playing with him or playing against him, he is the first thing I target with archery or anything like that. Literally, having just having the straight up two wounds, defense four, archery fire, even just cavalry charge into him, he's gonna go down super fast. I know the proper Iron Hills, uh, not Air, uh, Airbar version, is an absolute tank because defense eight, seven, eight, or something like that. He's not going down anytime soon. Free wounds, blah blah blah, all that stuff. I don't have to profile in front of me, so sorry. Anyone that it does play Airbar obviously knows what I'm talking about. But like I say, for 10 points, he's just insane what he could. Especially when that Shattered Spirit rule does come into play. I know a lot of people say, like, Worm, like Sharking Worm, obviously his rule doesn't come into play much, but it does, and just like Friends rule, it has as well. So, I'll leave you guys here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and we'll talk about how, well, broken Friend is. And I hope you guys have a great day, and please like, subscribe, and all that other goodness, guys. See you next time. Thank you.